3, 2, 1. Hola y bienvenidos. Yo soy El Vívaro. ¿Cómo estás, muchachos? No mames, güey. Hola. Oh, y... God. Welcome back. Football's back. We're back. Everything's back. Back, back, Stars back. are lining. The Red Raiders won last night. Uh, I figured it, the most important thing we're going to talk about today is week one and week two of the NFL, so you want to get started on that. All right, let's do it. Look up uh, week one scores, would you? You ever have... Our producer's uh, back in the building. You ever have one of those times where you just fucking get everything wrong? Everything you say is just wrong, 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 wrong. Well... I think you got a lot of these right, actually. Okay, well, that's the only thing I got right. Huh, Maybe. Okay. Uh, go go back. I can't... I don't like... You don't like that? No. I don't want to be a what brat. You, I like that one right there. Like, Well, actually, just fuck it. So let's go to... Week one. It's on week two right now. So, yep, there you go. Let's go to week one of the NFL. We'll start off with Thursday night's game, um, the Chiefs and the Lions. And like you, contrary to what you just said, when you're right, you're right. The fucking Chiefs are not with it. And the game's like, today's Sunday, so the games are going on right now. Yep. Chiefs lose 21 to 20. Um, obviously, one play can't make them. You know, one play doesn't make the game. But you catch a few of these passes, and the fuckers win. I think we talked about it last week, actually. We did. Yeah, we are one week behind. No, because when we recorded last week, Thursday's game already had played. So we were we were wrong. Oh, that's what happened. That's what happened. Okay, okay. So we that was wrong, the but one, you got your plus two. That was the one game we talked about? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Because we had recorded previously. So we can right, go right, to... Right. Uh, let's go to Jacksonville. I was frying my brain and, uh, trying to think about no, that. Yeah. Jacksonville, Indianapolis. Uh, we both said the uh, Jaguars. We both got that right. I didn't really watch that game. But they end up winning 31-21 to 21 against the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, that Colts uh, quarterback Richardson, Anthony Richardson, <laughs> he's a rookie this year. He's looking pretty good. Is he? I mean. He got a little banged up, but he's back in. He's playing today. Today's week two. Uh, so we have Carolina and Atlanta. I had Carolina. You had Atlanta. What was the score of that game? Carolina and Atlanta. I'm pretty uh, sure Atlanta won. I think, yes. 24-10. You get this right. Who'd you pick? I had Carolina because I like Bryce Young. Uh, Atlanta has um, Bryce Young came from Alabama, right? Yeah, yeah Bryce He's Young, a and then uh, who's Atlanta's quarterback? Atlanta, I don't know. I really don't know. Is it Ritter? Something Ritter? Desmond Ritter, maybe? Sorry, folks, we'll get this down. I in think a it's Desmond Ritter. How many starting quarterbacks are rookies this year? It's quite lot. a bit, huh? It's a lot. At least four or five, maybe. I think it's R I D D E R. Yeah. Uh, Ritter. Desmond Ritter. Man, he looks like Atlanta's a crackhead. <laughs> can you can you make that picture bigger? That's how I feel when I see. Uh, Holy smokes! That's how I feel when I see. Um, okay, all right, that's a little bit. What's his name? When you get closer up. The Ravens. The Ravens quarterback. Oh, uh, Lamar Jackson. Dude, he's fucking millions of dollars, and he's got. Ugly ass hair. He's an ugly dude. Oh, yeah. Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Lamar Jackson. I right, don't worry about that. Let's uh, let's continue. You want to go this. on this tangent of ugly quarterbacks? <laughs> it seems like a pretty good one because I got that one. motherfuckers <laughs> ugly. <laughs> I got one in the chamber. Uh, put an Arizona Cardinals quarterback. I don't exactly know this guy's name, but he looks like little Bill all grown up. Where's he at? Let's see, little Bill all grown up. Go to images QB. Oh, come on. I'll give you a name. I'll give you a name. Oh, uh, what happened? Give me two seconds. Connection went up. Oh, Jamal, Jamal Kyler Murray? Kyler Murray? Nope, nope, nope. The one, Kyler's out, I think, right now. He's hurt. His name is J. Dobbs. Joshua Dobbs. Pull up Joshua Dobbs. There he is right there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. Look at that noggin, dude. Does this man... Holy uh, smokes. He's got too much information in he his head. Does he have alopecia? And look at those eyebrows. He's got... Dude, those are not real eyebrows. Do are those tattoos? Good? Yeah, he's sounding okay. good. Are those tattooed on there? That's why I said, does he have alopecia? Oh. I don't know. What's alopecia? You lose your hair. Am I being too loud? No, I just... Was, why are you whispering? Because I don't want to make insensitive jokes. Sorry, baby. And we lose our sponsorship money. Oh, no, uh, yeah, he sensitive. looks... He's He does look like a grown-up kid. Desmond much. Ritter, is that the ugliest <laughs> man in, in the NFL? I still think... Uh, if there's somebody <laughs> uglier, send him to I us. I still think uh, Lamar Jackson's ugly as shit. Uglier than Joshua Dobbs? I say that because this man's got millions of dollars and his, his hair... His hair looks dope to me. I wish I could... I Look wish at his, like, like that. his... 
Just You're talking about his helmet hair after a game, my dude. Uh, all right. Fair all enough. Right. Fair enough. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Jackson. I'm a pretty fly to uh, me. We have Arizona and Washington. Speaking of Arizona, you had Washington. I had. Uh, we both had Washington, and uh, we ended up getting that one both right. Yeah, yeah. Is that, Carson Wentz quarterback for the Commanders? I believe so. So it is. Um, no, it's freaking, what's his name? Cousins, I think. No, oh, Cousins no, is Vikings. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Carson Wentz pulls it Damn. off. Nobody really gives a fuck about these two teams. You got to be able to name every quarterback in the NFL. Carson Wentz. By the end of this. Commanders. And they're not called the Redskins. They're the Commanders. We called them the Redskins last week, but that's okay. The Commies. <laughs> hey, we're trying not to lose our, our big sponsorship yeah, money. We brother, just we got to chill. Get that Gatorade money coming deal. in. Uh, San Francisco Steelers, uh, I believe San Francisco put a whooping on them. They did, and the Niners look good Both doing it, man. Right. A lot of Pittsburgh Steelers fans are uh, are kind of worried right they're now. They're almost worse than the Cowboy fans. They look they bad. Are, they are almost worse than but the Cowboys. But I'm saying they're, they're worried right now because the, the Steelers look bad. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do week two predictions because some of the games have already been going on or have happened. But but, but we you had talked highly any. about them last week, Pickens and Pickett. I did. They didn't. I did. They need to get it together. They, a lot They're of times, a team. yeah. A lot of times, teams get better as the season goes on. You know, just like uh, Kansas City right now, it's not looking too hot. Chiefs, you got the plus. They're going to be looking good, probably the middle of the season. You got plus two on that one, by the way. Uh, so then we have the Bengals and the Browns. This was a very, uh, this was an upset. Big time upset. Uh, Twenty-four to three. Joe Burr and Jamar Chase apparently came down and shit the bed. Wrong. Yeah, I don't know much about it. Uh, shout out to John Watson. Jesus Christ ends up putting a, an upset on them. I'm going to yeah. start betting, so I, I need to get into okay. betting. I'm on DraftKings. I'm going to start betting. Yeah, man, a lot of people lost money on that one. Yeah, so we or have, made uh, money. Speaking of our other guy, uh, Ravens and the Texans. We both said the Ravens uh-huh. on that one. Uh, twenty-five to nine, as as they should have. Bijan Robinson, though his first career touchdown as a Texan was sweet. He put he put the fucking moves on that. Hold on, on Bijan plays for the, no, he plays for the Falcons. The Falcons. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, his first touchdown with the Falcons was I thought it was the Texans for some that reason. That pass that he caught in the backfield. Yes, and it was he hit the break sweet. real quick. I thought he played for the Texans for some reason, but you know what I'm talking about that play. So hit the damn it, Roy button. We got a button <laughs> now. It. Every time he hits it. Wait, did the Ravens? Watch. Here's another it? damn it. Did the Ravens? Damn win? it, <laughs> damn it, Roy. There you go. Both got that right, so that's a plus one. That was easy. Uh, Bucks and the Vikings. Oh man, what an upset there. How about Maker Bayfield and the goddamn 20. Tampa Bay Buccaneers? We both said the Vikings on that one. We both got that wrong. I know. Nobody's I will not root for you, Baker. You son of a bitch. Hey, I'm all in on Baker Mayfield, buddy. Fuck no. <laughs> Never. Come walk walk on at Texas Tech. You know, don't get no Should've love from there. Kingsbury. Should have stayed there. Then goes and walks on at OU. Wins a Heisman, Wins a buddy. Wins a fucking Heisman, man. You know, that's, he, a, that's officially if legitimate. If he stayed at Tech, he would have not have won a Heisman. No, sir. Or, Was he with there with Mahomes? They played against yeah. each other. One of the craziest shootouts yeah, gun, of all time, my boy. Uh, yeah. So then we fuck oh, you. I don't. I'm not gonna make her Bayfield, buddy. I think they're winning. He's doing right it now. in Tampa Bay. Uh, we have Titans and the Saints. You got that right. Sixteen to fifteen. Ooh, they barely squeaked it out of there. Derek Carr getting the win. Looking uh, good with his new team. I don't think the t- uh, the the reign of Tannehill is going to be much longer if it's not already over. Um, the reign of Tannehill. Then we have the, <laughs> we have the Raiders and the Broncos. Both said I said the Raiders, you said the Broncos. Oh, I got that one right. Oh man, Yo. one point game there. Looks like uh, uh, Russell Wilson to sixteen looked I hate a little him. better. He sucks. It's not very good, man. Uh, Pats and the Eagles. Garopp- I, um, Garoppolo you, got you the one with his new team. Yeah. You obviously said that. Pats yeah. and the Eagles. Yeah, Eagles are looking good, man. But that, I, that's no, a tough game. I don't think they're looking good. I I think the Patriots should have won this game, and then the Eagles played Thursday, and I think the Eagles should have lost that game as well. I guess what I meant to say is, even though the le- the Eagles are not playing their best football, they're still winning. Fair enough, but so what does that both mean? The, it's like the Raider, Red Raiders. They the Red Raiders should be three and zero. It's just they got to. Uh, these guys, fuck the Eagles. The Red Raiders, but, man, that was a hype train, uh, buddy, and it derailed really suck fast. My dick. <laughs> Raiders, I mean not Raiders. Rams and the Seahawks. I said Rams. You said Seattle. Yo, get that one right. Dang. Maybe you don't get it. The Rams right. put the whooping on that uh, ass. Thirteen to. Th- 30 to 13. There was a funny play where uh, Aaron Donald is about to smoke Geno Smith, and he's like, oh, shit, and he throws the ball away. He's yeah. mic'd up. It's a pretty funny play. 
Um, I haven't seen that. Rams. You like watching those mic'd up? Uh, it's just a clip I saw. I didn't, but I do like to hear mic'd so up. So every pretty. after every NFL week, you can go on YouTube and put in NFL mic'd up for that week, and you can watch them all mic'd up. It's pretty fun. I love hearing the in-game shit talk. You know, you can hear everything that's going it's on. It's funny when they forget they're mic'd up. If they had a service, a streaming service that allowed you to hear what they're saying, I would pay for that. Shit, NFL. It'd be sweet. They won't. Put be some body many, cams on the guys. Put crazy. some cameras on their helmets. Man, that'd be cool. It's too much of a liability for the NFL to do it. Somebody and then give me a VR it. headset. Yeah. Shoot. That's the future. I'll have a helmet on on my couch. Juking and um, shit. While it's on my mind, because we still have a few more games, we have Bradley in the studio as our producer right now. Texas He Brad? doesn't like the NFL. Texas Brad he just said this like earlier. NFL. He just said this earlier. And yeah. I was very surprised that you'd be an NFL man. Well, because he... Um, the, the Oh, he was rooting against the, the Chiefs. Earlier. No, I wasn't saying that. Because I had asked him, do you think they'll have a, a down year? And I said, like, look, you have the Super Bowl hangover. Yep. A lot of times, even Brady had losing seasons and it here does, and there. I'll give you that. It does get probably... You get worn out yeah. going to the Super Bowl every goddamn year. It's hard to stay perfect. Every single year, so and they Brandon. missed on some draft picks too. They yeah. they don't have very many offensive weapons Not anymore outside of Travis Kelsey. But um, he had at, he had told me like, who, who the hell are you going for? And I was like, I don't care. Whoever I don't I don't have a team that I root for. So Roy was offended that you. I wasn't offended. I was shocked. Uh, I still keep up with it though. Dolphins. I just don't have a team. <laughs> we have Dolphins and the Chargers. You got that right. I like the Dolphins. You know what I like Too about much? you know what I like most about the Dolphins. What? Their uniforms. Yes. Those colors are sweet. I dude. think Tyreek Hill. Can you click on that game? I think Tyreek Hill went. He off went all on this fucking man. game. Uh. Two hundred something yards receiving, I believe. Yeah, Tyreek Hill. Shout out to everybody who passed to Tyreek who uh, drafted Tyreek Hill. Fucking touchdown, Jesus Christ! If you drafted Tyreek Hill in your fantasy football league, congratulations. You got I don't you. I want to look at my fucking fantasy right He's now. He's the most uncoverable player in the league. 15 yards, two touchdowns. He gets open, man. And two is two is not that accurate, and he underthrows him a lot. But, hey. He's only 29 years old. When you're that and fast. And he's the fastest man in the world. Net worth 40 uh, mil. Can you go back? So we have the Bears and the Packers. I believe we both picked the Bears on this man, one. The I think the Bears won, smacked right? him. No. no. No, Packers got him. Packers 38 to 20. I'm about to get that wrong. Yeah, the Bears are looking bad. What's it? Oh, I, not a very good. What's his name? Justin team Fields or something? Love Jordan Love. No, no, the Bears. Oh, Justin, Justin Fields. Fields. Yeah, yeah. And then Jordan Love. Justin Fields. He's pretty good. He's got a lot of talent, but his line sucks, and uh, he doesn't protect the ball very well. I think, but yeah, um, Jordan Love's looking all right for the Packers. I think next week when we do this, we got to do it like Pat McAfee and stand up. Yeah. Oh, uh, we should. We're gonna do that next week. Ooh, we didn't, be we didn't tough. really plan this one out. We were Stand up. Again. We're on the struggle bus. Uh, whatever. Jordan fuck, Love, man. Fuck both of them. Uh, Cowboys and Giants. Cowboys. Cowboys whoop that ass. The Cowboys defense. Up. Who needs an offense whenever you got a defense like the Dallas Cowboys? Oof. Oof. Man, I don't know why people were even like talking shit on the boys. Like they didn't just whoop them. I mean, they they, they shut they them out. Them. Forty to nothing, they man. Put That's, and that um, first drive, like maybe that first possession. Uh huh. Up until that first first down for the Giants, you're like, oh shit, and then it just downhill from there. And it wasn't it crazy how the head coach left Daniel Jones in, and he was getting murdered out there. It's like that's your starting quarterback. Well, I mean, you pay him all that money, <laughs> you better fucking leave him. You, you. Man, uh, Bills and the Jets. This one was very sad, uh, but we did both get this right. I don't. I think I sad said this game, last you know? episode. Uh, the Bills aren't what they are, what people think they are, but. The most, uh, probably the biggest news in the league for week one, third play in Rodgers tears his Achilles. Yeah, I would like to uh, repick my Super Bowl winner. Who, who, who I no it? longer believe in the New York Jets. I'm jumping off the bandwagon. Ah, uh, man, we before don't it leaves the no, station. I'm just... The hype no, train. I mean, yeah, we can watch it. Actually. Zach Wilson. I do not have faith in Zach Wilson. From, they won from Brigham Young University. They oh. won, and it was a badass game. But, man, is Zach Wilson going to survive today's game versus the Dallas Cowboys? That's what I want to no, know. Fuck no. The Cow- if the Cowboys defense plays like last week, he's going to get hurt. It's going to be 40-0 again. He's going to get hurt, man. Yeah, yeah. But th- it's not going to be 40-0 to zero because the Jets have a badass defense, too. 
You got two of the best so, uh, defenses in the league going at it today with the Jets and the Cowboys. We'll, we'll talk about week two, but... That's going to be a great game. Um, so apparently, I think me and Brad were talking oh, about this. Bad, yeah. uh, Aaron Rodgers' Achilles injury. Apparently, I had heard that the field is, 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 was a factor in this, but I had heard they're, they're doing these fields to implement it for soccer. That's why you've seen a lot of these fields because oh, they want to put that shit. pussy ass sport in America. Yeah. Lionel Messi, obviously, is making millions drawn in the crowd. So I think that's why oh, wow. you're seeing these type, of sta- these type of fields. But I think they're trying to change that now. Yeah, you know, sometimes goats got to go through Achilles injuries. I dealt with one myself. <laughs> but he's old, dude. Is this a career ender? Uh, it's not a career the same. ender. You, there's a slow motion v- video I don't want to watch. You. you can see it pop out. It's nasty. Yeah, it's not a career ender. But it's only because he's um, committed to coming back and to not let it in like this. All he needs is a little so, ayahuasca. Man. A little ivermectin. He'll be fine. Have you heard of those darkness retreats that he does? Yeah. Dark, solid, uh, nothing but darkness for three days, I think. That's why it sucks that he did this because everybody's like, oh. They're blaming all that? Somebody did, but he, he snapped back. It was pretty funny. Hey, click on that ad for perfectly caught cheer pigs. No, <laughs> you're good on that kidding, one. Bruh. You know me, Mr. Joker guy. And this was on 9-11. Yeah. Damn it. Shit, the fucking world was ready. Look how beautiful that was. Met life. I love those helmets, that green on those helmets, man. It's beautiful. Is he the last quarterback that wears a single strap? I don't think any other Uh, quarterbacks wear like. (laughs) That's a good question. That's pretty tough. I know Favre did it. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Troy Aikman, too. Do you remember when the quarterbacks used to wear that cloth chin strap? That's what he's wearing. Is that really what he's yeah, got? It's what he's yeah, that's what I mean. It's that's all it is. Oh yeah. A single strap. That's it. Damn. That's what I mean. I think he's the only one that's left <laughs> doing it. Well, it was beautiful while it lasted for so one, two, three, one, four, two, five, three six, plays. Seven, eight. I got eight points. But well, that's the thing about you football. Got one, two, you three, get four, five, six, you hurt, seven, you know, eight. What happens nine, to the best of us? 10, 11, hey, listen. 12. Fuck, I'm, you got 12 and I got 8. Somebody needs to invent an exoskeleton that's just like this bodysuit. And I'm sure that there are plenty of uh, military companies and contract, you know, military contract yep. companies 12. who have these for other things. But all of the football players should be wearing fully braced, everything braced up like from your fingers to your damn toes. Yeah, like an exoskeleton. And really let them take as much steroids as they want. Let them get as big and mean as possible. You know what I'm saying? That would be awesome. That would be sick. Uh, Nobody gets hurt. So there's six games going on right now. So do you even want to make predictions on them or do you just want to talk about them? Uh, Yeah, hide the scores. Seven game. Are those live scores? Yeah, those live scores. Hide them and then tell us the games. I didn't. But so first of all, go to Thursday's game because we're not going to call it. That one's already over. Uh, Who was it? The Eagles. Oh and yeah, the Minnesota game. Vikings, thirty-four yep. to. Uh, a lot of people took Justin Jefferson as the very first pick in their draft, and uh, I mean, Kirk Cousins didn't do too bad. He's doing pretty good. I mean, he's gonna eat. So That's, let's let's call these games that are already that haven't started, so you can scroll up just a little bit, so we don't see like Philadelphia. Right, you had no, AJ down, Brown down, right there. Did you see AJ Brown getting into it with Jalen Hurts on the sideline, complaining? Yeah. I'm telling you, they bro, ran the ball a fuck lot. the Eagles, man. They're not. <laughs> Wait till they start playing better teams. I like the Eagles. All right, let's do these first, and then we'll have Bradley unplug the screen and tell us the other ones. San Francisco and L.A., uh, the Rams. I got San Fran. I got San Fran on that one as well. We have New York and Arizona. I think Arizona wins this one. I'll take New York bouncing back big time. We have the Jets and the Cowboys. I think the boys put it on them. Got to go with the Cowboys. 30, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. I, if that defense plays like they did, yeah, Zach Wilson's going to get his Wilson. sack lunch eight by Michael Parsons. Dude, it's going to be double teaming him, and he was still fucking doing it. Yeah, it's going to be violence. You're going to see the school bully show up on the playground and uh, scare the little boy, Zach Wilson. He's going to shit his pants. He's going to fumble the ball. Cowboys going to beat the shit out of the Jets. Actually, uh, no, no, no. They're not going to beat him. This is going to be a defensive battle. I'm going to say 14 to 10, the boys. I say 38 
No, no, 30 to 14. Cowboys win this okay. one. We got okay. Washington and Denver as a bullshit game, but I think Washington wins this one. I'll take, since it's such a toss up, I'll take Denver looking for Russell Wilson to bounce back and get a win. Uh, Miami and New England. I think Miami wins this one. I'm going to go with New England. They got a really good defense, good defensive line. I think they're going to eat Tua up today. Yeah, and I want to be different. I think, <laughs> I think, Tua, I think uh, Tyreek Hill goes off again. New Orleans and Carolina. Nolens. I guess I'm going with New Orleans on that one. I got to go with Nolens. You know, Carolina's got a rookie QB. I really like Derek Carr with the Saints. You know, it looks really good. When guys switch teams sometimes, it just looks weird. But Derek Carr with the Saints... I can dig it. Uh, Cleveland and Pittsburgh. I think Cleveland puts it on Monday night. Cleveland and Pittsburgh. That's yep. Monday night. Uh, Cleveland Browns. There's two Monday night games, huh? It, are, oh, is there really? Yeah, look. Got Deshaun Watson uh, cleared of all his allegations, apparently. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I probably talked shit about it last year, but I looked into it. I don't uh-huh. think he did anything. You don't think he did it? Outrageous. He was I going mean, to Rubby Tuggy. Yeah, but... It, Massage you're parlors. paying for it. It's not like I thought he was forcing himself onto women, which he wasn't. He wasn't. He was paying. Come on. Who for rugby tuggies. Yeah, who gives a fuck? So what? Who, who complained? I think they just try to smear him. I don't know. Maybe the people at the rub and tongue. I don't fucking know. All right, Same. Bradley. Can you unplug the screen and uh, read us off the other ones? I have it on my phone. What if you had to pay yourself every time you rubbed one out? <laughs> would you be broke? <laughs> <laughs> I know you would be. Okay, so Ravens and Bengals. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Ravens. I'm gonna go with the Bengals on that one. Ooh, they sucked this year, boy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going with the Ravens. Uh, Seahawks and the Lions. Lions. I gotta go with the Lions because I saw the score earlier. They were winning. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll happen. go with the Lions because they look good. Uh, te- uh, Colts at the Texans. Texas Tech. I'm just kidding. Colts. Colts at the Texans. Yeah, Colts. Yep. Texans uh, are a really bad team. Bears at the Buccaneers. Nah, I guess I'll go with the fucking Bucks on that one. Bears and Bucks. Got to go with the Bucks. Justin Fields ain't looking so hot right Jesus. now. Jesus. Just contradicted myself. And Chiefs and Jaguars. Chiefs, baby. So he's going with the Chiefs. I'm going to take the upset here, even though I did see some of this game. It was seven to three and a half. We okay. were watching it. All right. I'm uh, taking the Jacks. Packers and Falcons. That's Falcons. My upset pick. That's my upset pick, though. Falcons. Raiders uh, and Bills. I gotta take the Packers. Raiders, Raiders and Bills. Bills. Raiders. B- Bills. And last, Chargers and uh, Chargers and Titans. Chargers. 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 Uh, Austin Eckler's pretty good. I don't know. He might be out. Just based off the odds, I guess my uh, my upset would be the Commanders beat the, Br- the Broncos. That's an upset because the odds are okay. Four. I don't have an upset other than that because I. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, Washington. Denver, that's my upset. Based on the odds given it to us on Yahoo Sports. You want to see the live scores now? Let's do it. Sure. Green Bay. Fucking Bills. God damn it. 28 that, to 10. Yeah, the Bills are good. Bitch, you knew that one. No, I didn't. Bal- what who did I say on the Baltimore? And the Bills are good. And the Bengals? I said the Bengals. I think you said Bengals, yo. Yeah, you said. Lions are winning 21 to 17 against the Seattle Seahawks. Yep. Tennessee. Did I say them? Yep. I thought you said no, Chargers. I, I said the Chargers. Yeah. Fuck. I said Chargers. Tampa Bay. Kansas City's winning. Kansas City's winning 14 to 6. You're going to lose that one probably. Indianapolis putting it on. Uh, Houston, yeah. Houston 31 to 10. I think I said. You said Indianapolis. Said, yeah. I hope I said the Colts. Hey, yeah, folks, yeah. that's week two of the NFL. Anthony Richardson, I believe he was. He played for the Florida Gators last season. He was pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah. man. We got, we got to keep our eye on all the rookie QBs. Let me see. Got else? Richardson. Who's the one that you like uh, from Bama? Young? Bryce Young? Bryce Young. Who's Carolina's QB? Click on the Carolina game. That's who it is. Bryce Young. Oh, it's Bryce Young. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Who's the other rookies? Um, Just will you look up 2023 rookie quarterbacks? Starting rookie QBs. I think there's four. That was two of them. Who are the other two? Is it Ritter? It must be Desmond Ritter. Oh yeah, the Titan, uh, the Texans. Hmm. 
Bryce Young. He was number one. Uh, Stroud. CJ Stroud. That's who I keep forgetting about. No CJ Stroud. Keep going, please. Uh, Anthony Richardson. Pick four. Pick number four. Who, where is, oh, yeah. He's the. He came from Florida. Yeah. He, he was number 15. They used to call him AR. Um, the CJ Stroud came AR come from Ohio State, I believe. Yeah. And then uh, Will Levis. Will Levis for the Titans. Oh, he's not starting, though. He will be soon if the fucking Tannehill didn't get his shit together. Hinder. Hinden Hooker. Hinden Hooker. He's okay. not, yeah. not going to start Those guys aren't starting either. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, there you go. CJ Stroud, that's who I was forgetting. And he's from uh, the Ohio State? Yep, he Let's plays for the Texans. We talk about primetime, baby. Let's talk about college football. Me and uh, is it primetime? We'll talk about that in a minute. Me and Bradley went to the Texas Tech, uh, whatever Tarleton. Texas Tech Gay versus State. Tarleton. Put it on them. State we ended up leaving after the third quarter. Um, was there some? There was some upsets, wasn't there? Let's see. Texas almost got beat. In the world of college football, end up looking like a blowout. I think they scored like it? they scored like twenty one points at the very end. Yeah, Texas beat Wyoming. Yeah, but when we were at the game, they had, were losing. Uh, Oklahoma State lost to South Alabama pretty bad, so I don't think Oklahoma State is going to look too good. Who beat Kansas State yesterday? Yes, uh, Missouri. Missouri beat Kansas State. That was an upset. Yeah, uh, Nebraska no, almost beat Oklahoma. Wait, hold on. Am I on the right shit? Yeah, you're at week three, isn't it? Yeah, because the Raiders are... Did we talk about the Tech and Oregon game already? I think we recorded it as it was going to... That day. Okay. That one um, should have... I went to that game, man. Tech should have won. Tech should have so won that game. Really let me down. Badass game, though. Oregon's uniforms and their helmets are so cool. When you see them in person, they just look like glowing orbs right. on people's heads. Here we go. Boston College kept up uh, or pretty could good. Or could have been the drugs. Kept up pretty good with Florida State. Um, Ohio State lost to the University of Ohio. Not Ohio State. Ohio. 10-7. Missouri beat Kansas State. 30-27. to uh, Yeah, 30-27. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Baylor won. Baylor's bounced back. Um, LSU blew out Mississippi State. Let's see uh, who else. Penn State won. And I know there was uh, a, like a number. Of, I think Tennessee got beat. Go Buffs. Yeah, Tennessee got beat by Florida. Colorado Buffalo. Uh, uh, South Florida kept up with uh, Alabama for a little bit. They, they, they only won seventeen to three on that one. But South Alabama or South Florida still has great talent. Uh, I know they're the smaller school, but they're always ten, they always tend to be a surprise school. They were at number two at one time. Um, Appalachian State. They're always good. Oklahoma beat Tulsa 66-17. Shout out to so Oklahoma uh, seems, Georgia barely won. Oklahoma seems like they're going to be pretty good this year. Oregon State's been pretty dominant lately. Oregon State? Iowa. <laughs> A&M won 47-3 by Louisiana Monroe. Yeah, no, nobody gives a shit about any of those games. Uh, not really. There really wasn't anything, anything I just worth know, mentioning. I thought other a few than other people got the beat. The Colorado Buffaloes going into double overtime to pull it off. Shout out to Shadur. <laughs> U- <laughs> UFC, new Big 12 school. UCF. Uh, Cincinnati lost to Miami, Ohio, a new Big 12 school. Uh, that's a pretty big deal. Um Let's see who else? SMU's sixty nine to nothing for SMU, baby. Fuck. And then Oklahoma like, State how lost. How do you come out? How do you play like as a coach and lose sixty nine? Like, what do you even tell your people? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, it's a tough one, boys. South Alabama beat Oklahoma what State. Was the, let's just, what was it? Hold uh, up. Say that again. South, South Alabama, Alabama, not beat Oklahoma State. That's the seven. one we were looking for. Yeah, but 33 to I think seven. Tennessee lost, too. That's one of the one I was looking at. Tennessee? Yeah, because I think they're number 11. Dude, how good is South Alabama? Yeah, Florida beat t- Tennessee. 29-16, uh, Tech won. Rice is actually Rice, a surprise team. 59 and it's a cool hat. Well. Uh, what was it? Well, so we went to the game. We leave the game. We go to the bar. Mm-hmm. Wait for Bradley's mom to pick us up. Go to his house. Get his truck. Go to a movie. Movie's over, game's still going on as the 
all of that. Has been been How old it. are you guys again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we watched it's it the in my truck too. Ever. As Bradley dropped the me way. off, it was uh, end of regulation. Yeah, nice. And then, uh, I mean, Colorado. How Colorado was it? Did y'all have a great time at the game? At the game? Hell yeah! Oh, yeah. Y'all, y'all Hell tailgated. Was ridiculously. Y'all party. Mm-hmm. Expensive beers, but yeah, it was pretty pretty fun. I didn't know like this is my first year like tailgating like this. I didn't know there's a bunch of free food and free beer out there. Is there really, or are you guys just crashing somebody's tailgate? Oh, you can do that because I was yeah. doing that too. But there, uh, Coke, yeah, Coke, uh, Coca Cola, yeah, Coca Cola. My cousin works uh, uh-huh. works for them, so we, we just hell yeah, out Plains there. Capital Bank. Plains Shit, Capital. I'm gonna go with y'all next time. I guess yeah, I guess we we kind of just cra- well, Two Dogs Let's has do a it. setup over there where you get free beer. As long as you're 21. Nice. So we've been out there. I. It's a good time. Getting fucked up. There's a lot of Tarleton State fans out there too. Yeah. We, it mm-hmm. took us a while. It took us a while to see where they were at. But once we got in the game, I told Roy like, "Hey, like when the game starts, like let's go up front." Hell no, that shit still filled up pretty good. And there yeah. were some people, and even in our area where they were like having to get staff to kick them out because yeah. they were in their seats. So oh, it was yeah. pretty packed. <laughs> So shout out to the game. I like the uh, new things they're doing. The new thing they're doing in the Jones with the lights. Have lights, you seen that? The LED lights. Yeah. That's been the, the red and black. Every I guess uh, a lot of colleges upgraded. That to is that. so sweet. Dude. Once, uh, I dig it for real. He, we're under construction right now. I think once that's built, it's going to be even sweeter. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and it's then they put, huge. That's a big time renovation. That's going to look pretty crazy when they build what they're going to do, and then they're going to put back the W the double T uh, yep. scoreboard back on top. That's going to look pretty pretty the south end zone baby. There you go. It's about uh, time to level up. Now, if we could just get a new quarterback. Also, new Big Twelve Morton school was in there. BYU did a had a pretty good win. They beat Arkansas thirty-eight, 38 to thirty-one. 31. Yeah. So look out for BYU. We have to go to Utah to go play them this year. That'd be fun. I want to go to that game. Oh, that would yeah. be cool. West Virginia uh, beat their old rival oh. Pittsburgh seventeen to six. Um, oh, uh, Colorado plays Oregon next week. Who do you think is going to win that one? Colorado and Oregon? Yeah. Man, I'm going with the Buffs, baby. Watching, I, I don't watching think Tech so. almost beat Oregon. But then Colorado State almost beats Colorado. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Colorado State's pretty good, though. I would say they're probably more underrated. That was a damn good. I would say Colorado. Good... So it's more likely that Colorado State's underrated and Oregon and TCU were overrated. Okay. Think, yeah, we'll see next I week. Think. Big 12 game, TCU beat Houston 36-13. to Donovan Smith, who is now at Houston. Um, yeah, not doing too good. Houston's kind of struggling. They lost to um, UTSA, or no, they lost to Rice. They lost Donovan Smith from where, where was he at? He's he was at here. He was at University oh. of Houston. He, he looks really good at the bar all the time. And That's then, probably his problem. Thir- thirty-one well, to ten. Yeah, thirty-one ten. Uh, Texas scored Number late, f- twenty-one points to, but it was oh, it was yeah. a close. Shit, it was ten to ten for a while, and then they just ended up blowing yeah. them out at the end. Yeah, it was a pretty close game. Uh, Sad. Texas State is pretty dominant this year. Uh, they beat Jackson State, Deion Sanders' old team, 77, 77. to 34. Texas oh, State. Go, guys. Texas State beat uh, Baylor, huh? Yeah. Yeah, their offensive oh, yeah. line looked legit. Mm-hmm. Look out for Texas State. Uh, Colorado State, Colorado, the game of the week. They uh, Ooh, Colorado the came out. Right mind wanted it to start at eight thirty. Well, they're still a big uh, Pac twelve school, and they do uh, Pac twelve after dark, which is uh, it's the uh, TV it's the West school is the West Coast schools. Uh, I get you. So they start at I think at seven like at 630. seven their time uh, for California time. Yeah. Uh, so for them, uh, for us, it's nine, and then it ended at. One and then on top of that, there was two overtimes. Yeah, I think that Colorado State really came to play. I mean, they yeah. were making some great plays. They had a a wide receiver number fourteen, um, Horton. Horton. He was really good. Sixteen receptions, one hundred and thirty three yards. He was he was really grabbing some balls out of the air. I was impressed with their quarterback. So, uh, yeah, man. But when I I didn't start watching the game until halftime, and I tune in, and uh, did you see all the pregame stuff that was going on in Boulder? Like there's so many celebrities showing up. Yeah, I saw the hey, college Wayne. game day. Lil Wayne was Sky's there. The, limit. the Rock was there. You cannot beat that. Come Offset on, was there. <laughs> and so the media is just feeding into What's this his name was in there Colorado too? Buffalo hype. You know, Quite limited. and I love it. But I mean, they're not going to go undefeated. Let's face it. They, they might. They lose could lose week. to Oregon. Yeah, they could very well and lose then who to Oregon play after that. USC. USC. Yeah. Yeah. And so depending on how they handle these next two games, and you know what. 
Don't doubt. Don't doubt prime time. I still think they'll lose. Four. They have a chance to win. I'm not going to say definitely they're going to lose, but the odds are really stacked against them, and it sucks to see this hype train coming to an end. But the hype train could have never been at all. I love it. Right? If the Buffs lose to TCU that first game, like everyone expects them to, and then lose to Nebraska, lose to Nebraska, or even if they just barely beat Nebraska. You do not have The Rock and Lil Wayne and all these celebrities showing up in Boulder for college game day. Pat yeah. McAfee, Pat Mc- Stephen A. And so it's cool to watch, man. And, of course, the media is going to ride it all the way to the end. So I'm here for it. Hey, whatever yeah. side you're on, it's so fun. I tune in it's at fun. halftime, and it looks like Colorado State's going to end the hype train. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, Colorado, because even though Colorado State's a smaller school, they're a Mountain West Conference uh, yeah. uh, team. Uh but when it comes to the games like this, like you could throw records away. These rivalry uh, games, yeah, it's just, it's just if it's an in-state rivalry game. What a sweet don't... rivalry game that was last night. Hell yeah, Shadur oh. Sanders is clutch and he's so accurate. I'm here for it. But what God bless. Game in last night. One thirty. One thirty in the morning. One thirty in the morning. Mm-hmm. Whenever. When... Yeah. But oh no. man, God bless when it, I think Colorado's gonna lose soon, and when they do, the media. Boy, but even if day. they're gonna eat eat up Dion, try to. But on top of that, you gotta think this is the last year the, the Pac-12. They still gotta play Oregon or not Oregon, yeah, Oregon and USC. USC. And at the end of the year, they have to play uh, Utah. Utah. So that's gonna be big. But what you, this is just his first year. Once they come to the uh, Big Twelve, yeah, it's even gonna be even more challenging. It's gonna be nuts. Yeah, because um, I mean, Colorado was once a Big Twelve school. They left for about ten or eleven years. But Dion's also gonna be back. getting a lot more recruits now after this season. Mm-hmm. Think about how many guys are gonna be coming. When the schedules come out, I hope they come here I know. their first year. That'd be so dope. Yeah, that'd be wild. We're looking forward to having prime time in the eight oh six. He yeah. said he's friends with Joey McGuire. They go way back. Oh, yeah. They got the Texas ties. But now uh, another Big 12 school, another team to look out for, Kansas. Kansas is doing pretty good. They're 3-0. Daniels Daniels is playing. I didn't realize. I really Mm -hmm. liked their their quarterback, Daniels. He was pretty cold last season before he got injured. So keep going. Kansas is 3-0, baby. You good, man? Anything else going on in the sports world? I think that's it. Nothing really worth mentioning on this beautiful Sunday morning other than the Mighty Mateo's got a fight coming up. October. Uh, October 14th in Frisco, Texas. Uh, hit him up on Instagram. He could get you some tickets. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. We've been training hard. Went and ran with him earlier today. About to go do some sparring after this. There yes, you sir. Go, yes, sir. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Time to get my ass whooped. That's always fun, too. Brad, anything else going on in your... Uh, follow me at Bradley Noel Garcia. <laughs> Like I say, other than that, just been podcasting, Snake Pit, Lords of Film, the events we've been doing, uh, going to record again starting tonight. Hell yeah. So other there than that, go. good shit. Sounds about Shout right, baby. Easy Money Vintage and Heart Enterprises, guys. Adios, cabrones. We'll see, y'all. see you at the Tech in Houston game. <laughs>